Hey everybody, and we're back with episode 12 of the Urquan Masters, and we did not ask the ores about the Endosynth, and now I'm talking I again. I am expanding. <laughs> yeah. It is so much squishy to oh. smell you. You Campers don't even know how squishy I am. Best. I have anticipation and then what? <laughs> or else. Better parties in the middle for sure. Yes. All right, so I will tell again the many pieces you do not know special things. I do Here know some special some. things, but not these. Time no. is not one, but many. Okay. Space is many. Sure. Colors are many. I know that. You are so sticky. You well, cannot slide like oars. From outside to inside, and in between, mm -hmm. it is sad. But oars can pull the campers after being connected. Okay. This is soon. Nice. Oars are trying to pull the androsin, but they are so silly, they do not want. Arilu can slide. Also, Taelo. Many can slide, hmm. but oars are better, of course. Of course. I mean, we're allies, right? So you have to be better. The light in my room just went out. That's interesting. Okay, well, I can do this without. No, no issue. Good, so we're not going to ask about the Endosynth anymore. They did just give us a hint there, so what they are doing is they are jumping, sliding between dimensions and the space between dimensions. And the Endosynth are there somewhere, but they just don't want to follow them? Something like that, I would say? Okay, you, you do your own thing, you, you know, rewatch the footage. Google it if you have to. Um, yeah, it's yes, just nothing more. We do! Goodbye is the game. Mm. Hello, I am only joke. <laughs> it is funny enough. Do not forget to enjoy the thought. Oh, I'm not forgetting to enjoy the sauce, believe me. So, but hey, we're alive, right? Everything is good. So let's uh, take a step back, have a look at this lovely star system. Breaks, and we're gonna have a look at all these lovely planets and see what we can find here, right? Did the outermost already, so this one is next. <laughs> Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nope, nothing here. Alright, next. That way. I think. Mm, right there. I can do it! Blockade runner! I'm a Korean Corvette. You didn't know that? Sure. Sucks to be you. Technology's class 5. And that's not even that valuable. <laughs> To say the least, that's the most shitty thing you can have, and there's nothing here. Alright, cool. Yeah, thank you. Didn't want to land here anyway. Bye bye. I should probably save at some stage. I guess I can do that when I actually land somewhere. Ooh, oh no, 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 don't. I have the lights back on in my room. Interesting. Class 3 Minerals, eh, energy. Haven't seen much energy lately, right? After Fwifo, I think? Yeah. Nope. That way. Hydrocarbon World, Tectonics Class 4. Well, if that's the only issue, that's not too bad. But then again, there's nothing here. No. Okay. Oh, the light went back out again. <laughs> I have to fix that after this episode, I think. We'll see. Alright, uh, where is... Oh, that planet is all the way up there. So I guess we do this one? No, 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 don't run into that. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Great. You! Tectonics Class 3. Oh, and look at that. We actually have stuff here we want. That is cool. I can live with that. Uh, shape, 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 all the things. Shape it. 
Yeah, thank you. Captain Treasure Room, save the engines and the ship and all the rest. We're gonna do something, and if it doesn't work, you have to save it all. <laughs> That's how it works in reality. Sure. That one. That one. Oh, that's a lot. Almost full. And here we go. And I guess we land one more time. If you use 1.1, that's actually quite a bit. I've seen worse, but not much worse. Ooh, no, don't. Run! One, almost, 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 almost. There you go. That wasn't too bad at all. Uh, let's save that again because we did it successfully. And Navigare. Um, wasn't it that way? I can't remember. Whew. Look at me. Doing it right. Oh, wow, well, wow, well, well, in that case. <laughs> I wanted to come here eventually, so might as well do it now. And it's completely on purpose, right? Sure. Uh, that's crap. No, nothing here. Okay. Done. There you go. Oh, you know what, let's do the gas giant as well, why not? Let's have a look at least. Nothing here, see? Weather class 8. You can't even land here because there's no surface. Or so people say. <laughs> nah, there's no surface. It's a gas giant after all, right? That one. Weather class 3, otherwise okay. There's some stuff here, but nothing good. No, that's not worth coming here for. Not at all. Let's do that one. Happy wow. Ethan. I am squirting nice colors. I don't want to know Why? that. The reason. Yes. Camper friends have come to Taylo Playground. Why are you coming to this? I need to get that audio file. The next time my boss talks to me and wants to know something, then I'm not gonna go for this. I'm just gonna randomly play those. So, would you mind if we did a bit of exploring on the planet's surface? Seems to be their homeworld or something. You are asked if ores are upset. Ores are not upset. That is good. You are happy campers. Mm -hmm. Certainly, you are only slow time walkers. Yep. It is not yes. fun on the surface in slow time. Hmm. If you want to go, that is okay. Thank you for giving me permission to plunder your homeworld. That is awesome. Did you just let us go like that? Cool. Uh, that's a treasure world. Yes, it is. Well, let's see what we can get here. That looks pretty good. There's an energy blip. That is awesome. And no biologics. And it's completely safe to go here, so... I, I do want to do that. And then we should probably come back and talk to them again because there were more options, right? But for now, uh, let's, let's just do all the things. Let's start over here. Why not? Ah, nice! See, that's how you do that. Uh, uh, do it again. Not even close, right in the middle. <laughs> First storage bay is not yet full. I can do more. This one, and this one, and I guess we should go and grab that before we have a look at this thing. Whenever you look at one of those things, usually once you touch that, the, the lander returns to the ship and you would have to come again, so... It's better to just do all your chores first. Right, so now, what is that? I don't know, let's find out. Report from surface. Captain, we have found an unusual glowing rock thing here on the surface. I'm so happy that we brought the scientists with us. A giant glowing rock thing. Okay. 
Uh, when you first noticed, we thought it was a natural, fluorescing, ingenious something. What? Dyke? Okay. <laughs> but upon closer inspection, no, closer observation, this font, really, someone change that, please. We can only conclude that this object is artificial in origin. Taylor design. Now, those guys sure built to last. Simple um, Radio Matrix show an age in excess of 20,000 years. Regardless of how old it is, it continues to radiate energy all up and down the EMA, EMA, EMR spectrum. Is that EMR or EMA? That's EMR. Alright. And so on and so on and so on. So we found something from the Taelo. If you remember, the Mel Norme, I think, told us about the Taelo uh, being one of the big races after the precursors disappeared. The Taelo rolled around here like some some tenth of thousands of years ago and then just, you know, vanished. There's a lot to read. You can pause the game and just read it. The game, the video. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Alright, well, we just, you know, take stuff and go back home. That's what we do. So, did, did, did we did we get anything from that? Uh, where is manifest devices? Do we have anything? We have a Taelo shield. Look at that. If you want to know what that is, we have to ask Starbase Commander Hayes because his scientists will be able to tell us. All right. Well, I'm. I think that's pretty good that we have that. Sure. Why not? Let's save that again. Let's navigate. Uh, let's have a quick look at that moon and then go back to that treasure world moon and talk to the orders a little more. Yeah, okay. That, glad that we came here. Totally glad. Awesome. Boop, 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 boop. I tried. Didn't work out. <laughs> uh, it's nobody here, as you can see. So. All right, sure. We're gonna to talk to you then. Screw you. Uh, there's that one over there left. Oh, come on! A little too much. There you go. This isn't really worth it. Temperature, weather, tectonics, I don't like it. There are some minerals here that are quite nice to have. Like, you know, over here. Those three. And then, obviously, that, that one. But, ah... I... No, I'm not gonna risk that. So... You know what? We're gonna have a look and see what that looks like. And we're gonna die real quick. That's not the one, but that's not the button I wanted to press. I'm, I'm, I'm a professional. I need help. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, the, the map is disappeared. Who cares? It's somewhere over here. Holy! On a chance. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, in that case we're just not going to bother. Uh, we're going to face it that way, we're going to go star map, zoom in all the way, and we're going to go to the next one. Now, do we need to have a look at Gamma Volpeculate? Of course we do need to have a look at Gamma Volpeculate, what are you talking about? Let's go. I was honestly thinking about just, you know, cutting out these going from and to sequences, but I think they make the game worthwhile if you're watching it, because otherwise you completely lose track of where you are and how you got there and all that. It's, it's just... This is more immersion. I like it that way. Hello! Uh, there's a gas giant over there. That's not what I wanted to do. It just costs fuel. Thank you. I'm really good at this game. Mm-hmm. There you go. Let's, let's, you know, start with the first moon here. Nope! Mm-mm. Next. Class 6. And nothing on there. Sure. Yep. 
Nope. Leave me alone. I'm watching moons. You already have an alliance. What do you want? Oh, wow, there's so many of them. <laughs> Class 6, yay. Nothing here. <sighs> no, don't talk to me. No. Oh, wow. I'm popular. Enough. I am expanding. Great. Uh, you can so press much. space and just skip it. If you've seen that intro before, there's no really need, right? I mean, it, it takes a little immersion away, but... Uh. Um... Yes! Goodbye, we there's do. nothing new. Good. There you go. That's how you get rid of them. And then everybody should stop following me. Oh, wow. I am <laughs> I'm somewhere in there, I can't even see my own shit. Yeah. <sighs> Stop, oh my god. Okay, uh, let's, let's start in the middle here. That looks interesting. That's the Goldilocks zone right there. That looks pretty habitable. Hello. Hi. To our house. Yeah. Do you feel better yet? I'm not sure. If you are campers, you will enjoy the change, uh -huh. but maybe not yet. It is best if many happy ores are coming to your house. Hmm. Let's fitting the fun words for several pieces, and then surprising things. Sure, you do that. Uh, in the meantime... Yeah. So, this is the Ores Homeworld, Gamma Volpeculi 1, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> Let's go! There you go. It's hard to see sometimes these things. I think they need an outline, like slight white glow or something. But yeah, it's an old game. Nothing here. <sighs> Where's the next one? So there's one up there, that's uh, planet number three. Where's number four? Wasn't that somewhere around here? Oh, come on! I didn't want to do that. Oh, there's something coming! Stop it! <laughs> oh man! All right, we we are still at Gamma Vopeculi. We should be right around here. Where, 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 where? Oh, we did mine planet number four. It's all good. All right, let's check the others. No, this is number four. There it is. See? We did mine... Well, we did have a look at the gas giant, which is number five. There's number four. That's where I want to go. Shut up. Go away. I don't want to talk to you. Crap. I am a... Yes. Go and expand somewhere else. And they tell me that we always want to talk and they just do this to make us happy. I mean, who's following who here? Freaking stalkers. Oh, that looks good. Emerald World, Tectonics Class 3, otherwise pretty habitable. Hmm. Okay. Nothing bad. Just go somewhere. Pick things up. Because it's good. Good stuff. All the good stuff. <laughs> Ow! And again. Well, that's a little far off from where I wanted to land, but okay. Speaking about precision here. Cool. Um, we're running out of crew again. Not that that's any news to us, right? Okay, so we did we did that. We did some resource hunting here. Well, for completeness' sake, right? We're skipping the the one other planet, but we're gonna have a look at this one. See. <laughs> 
All right, star map. We are going to go around. Is there anywhere else where we really need to go here? Well, I guess, yeah, there's a couple of things where we need to go. We do want to go, I think it's over here. That's Itavulpecule. And yes, we need to go there. And uh, this is a beta Vulpecule. And yes, we technically also need to go there because there's resources there. So I'm going to go and pick up these resources around uh, the ores. Uh, all of these planets basically have, or all of these star systems have something that's good for resources. Um, I think there's some biodata as well. But for now, this one of these. I'm not gonna tell you why. Mm -mm. Please don't run into any ships while you're trying to fly through all of the stars. Come on. I'm gonna do this manually. Screw you. Ah! I thought I could escape. I am yes, go expand. <laughs> Shut up. Chase. Juke. See, you can do this manually if you want. It's not really efficient or anything. Right, so where are we gonna go here? Hmm. Uh, I don't know, but we're gonna start right here. We got it. Is that a ruby world? By any chance, that would be so cool. Ooh, it's dangerous here. That's life forms, but weather and tectonics, and you need to stand still for life forms to shoot them, so I... I'm gonna skip that. Just for now, I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna save, but I'm gonna skip it. Um, I want to have a little look at... Absalon Volpacule. Which one? That's the one up there. That doesn't necessarily match what I have written down. Well, might as well. Let's have a look. Come on, go faster. Go faster. Now, Scripter, why are you going there? Well, you do know that uh, this is supposedly Androsynth space, and they must have a homeworld somewhere, right? And it's either Eta will peculate or Epsilon will peculate. I'm not 100% certain, so we're going to check this one first. This looks good. No! I am X. Yes! Yeah. Yes! You're my ex, go away. I can do it! <laughs> awesome. Alright, nothing here. Bye. I <sighs> am expanding. Yeah. Yeah, you feel my pain, right? Mm, you do. I know it. I can do it! <laughs> I can do it twice! Yeah, there's also nothing here. Alright, so that's the wrong system. It definitely is the wrong system. If it's not that one, then it has to be that one. And we were just here, and we just, you know, we, we could have checked. Aw, oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah! All right, campers and such, you know, go away. All good. Whew, that was uh, close there. All right, there we walk. There's, there's someone coming there. It's probably another oars. Not really. Oh, see, it's right here. I can see it. Gravitational pole. There you go. <laughs> Seriously, that did hit. You can't tell me it didn't. Right there. That is a whole world. Looks like one, right? Dang it. 
Nothing. Yeah. Okay. And some life forms. Well then. Are we in episode 12? <laughs> No, 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 we're not going to override that. We're going to... Well, actually, we can, because we do have an episode 11 slot already, right? It's right here. Screw it. It's just the game messing with my head. So, let's go. Let's have a look at these things here. See what is what. Come on. I want to shoot you! Thank you. What are you? Mm hmm. That guy. Xeno historian Gilgore here, sir. We have confirmed that these ruins are the rem remnants of the Androsynth culture. That's pretty much all you need to know right now. Yeah. No signs of orbital bombardment, invasion from space, or any of that. Just, you know, all shot to pieces, so... Hmm. Okay. Nuclear bazookas. So, somebody shot all the cities to crap, and took all the endosynths, and then they vanished. We have located Anderson's scientific research station, and I have been uh, trying to make some sense out of what is left of their central computer. And so on and so on and so on. Basically what happens, uh, we need to go to a couple more of these cities and gather some more research data to get something out of all this mess. So, again, you can pause the video and look at all of that. But for now, I'm just gonna do this until we can't do no more. Uh-huh. Sure. And as you can see now, we're actually passing through the cities, so we touched three of them and that seems to have been enough. Ow, 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 yeah, I know, that, that was stupid. Hi. If you get biodata for free, you might as well take it. You use up the fuel for landing anyway, so... Why not, right? Might as well get something out of it. The man me will be happy about all the biodata we can get. With the amounts we get here, like, three, uh, we might as well pick up everything we can. It's not as plentiful a resource as all the other minerals, as you can see. Right. So we did all of that, and technically we're running overtime already. I know that. Mm -hmm. I do. I, I feel with you guys, and I know you want to go and do something else really, really badly. Um, it's, it's just, there's this little thing where I just don't care. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is we're going to go here. And see if there's a Melanome trade ship somewhere in that area. I always like to keep them, uh, to keep them, to call them marauders, because, you know, the, the Ferengi vessels are marauders. And I do still think of the Melanome as this game's Ferengi. Haha. Uh, see, there is one. Nice. Uh, since we're here. Planet goes first. No, no, you're, you're not gonna touch me. Mmm. No, no touching! Oh. Well, well, I guess we go over the moon. It's almost 2,000 degrees centigrade. We're not going to do that. No touching. Go away. You would bark or take or something. I mean, obviously, this is a super giant star. It's hot around here. So, that's just what it is. Now, you may come here. Hello. How nice to see you again, Captain. Oh, you have no idea. Now, what can we do for you today? Well, to start off, I would have some items to sell. What would you like to sell, Captain? My first officer. Just kidding. I have some data on alien lifeforms. The 373 units of biological data we downloaded from your ship 
earn you 746 credits. So twice as much as we have is what we get for it, right? Well then. What free items would you like to buy today? Oh, you have no idea. So we could buy fuel, or we could buy technology, we could buy information. And this is exactly what we're going to do next time. So thank you everybody for watching, and I see you in the next episode, which will be tomorrow. So until then, have a good one.